Who are you racing? Nobody. You weren't racing that car? No. All right, can I have your license, please? Do you know that? Do you know the guy in that other car? No. What? No. Is the car registered to you? Huh? Is the car registered to you? It's on my mom. Okay. All right, one Where do you live at? In Lakeland. Lakeland? So this address on your license isn't correct? No. So, you're saying you you two weren't racing when you when you flew by me on Court Street? No, I wasn't racing. So. Okay, then why'd you follow him and decide to turn around all of a sudden? Well, I was following him. Yes. Where are you headed? So Clearwater. Well, yeah, obviously, but where in Clearwater? Clearwater Beach? Yes. Alright, what's your uh, updated address? I'm gonna need another unit here to stand by for FSTs in case K1 has to go. Can I step step back here and come talk to me for a minute? Is there a gun in the car? So sorry. Is there a gun in the car? Don't don't bullshit me. Why why is there a holster right there? Is there a gun somewhere in this car? No sir. Do you have a gun on you? Ready for you for me. Is there anything in it? Yeah. Alright. Kenneth, how much have you had to drink tonight and or smoke? How much have you had to drink or smoke tonight? I only smoke. What? I only smoke. Right. How much? How much weed have you smoked tonight? I haven't. Dude, there's weed all over your all over your pants. Okay. There's you no reek weed of, on you me. reek of weed. There's weed all over your pants. You've given me multiple signs of impairment. Okay. So I'm asking you, how much have you smoked tonight? I haven't. All right. You're being detained right now. Let's go sit back in my car, okay? All right. <laughs> He pulled up here and stopped for a second, so I'm just seeing if he drew the gun out the window or not. He, he stopped right here, right before I pulled him over, and then made, banged the U-turn real quick. Kenneth, would you be willing to do some field sobriety exercises? What you mean, sir? Um, because I, I, like I said, I believe that you are impaired, and that's... There are exercises for me to determine whether you're good to drive or not. You check your eyes. I'm sure you've seen them on TV. Check your eyes, walk on a line, stuff like that. That's fine. Okay. All right, stand up. Let me check your eyes real quick. All right. Put your feet together. Feet together. I know I'm kind of nervous right now because I ain't never been pulled over. So. All right, put your feet together. Sit. Can you check your sit back there? Let me. I'm going to turn these lights off. We're going to run up to the station right quick. Kick your legs in. So wait. Hold on one second. Alright. Let me get a search on this real quick and then can you was he moving around when I was
I'm gonna go talk to him real quick. We just finished searching outside. I have reckless on him. Yeah. Lift up. There's stuff in there. Okay, step back for me. Why do you have that holster? It's my mom's car. Okay. So you want to have a gun? Yes. All right, take a step back. Or come, but come off the car. All right. Stand right there. Put your feet together. Okay. Look, look straight at me. I'm gonna move your hair real quick. Okay. Good. All right. You see the tip of this pen here? Yes. What color is it? Red. Red? Do you take any medications? So, yes. What do you take? Adderall. Adderall? Who's just time to take it? Uh, early it's okay. Are you sick or injured right now? No. Alright. Do you have any physical defects? One leg shorter than the other? Broke a hand, broken arm, or anything like that? Okay. Are you a diabetic? No. Do you take insulin? No. Okay. Do you wear contacts or glasses? Glasses. What's your highest level of education? High school. How old are you? 19. Alright, so you see the tip of this pen here? Yes. What I want you to do, I want you to follow with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? You understand? Yes, sir. What I want you to do, I want you to stay just like you're standing, okay? I want you, when I say begin, I want you to close your eyes, I want you to tilt your head back, I want you to estimate 30 seconds in your mind, okay? I don't want you to sing it, I don't want you to yell it, just estimate 30 seconds in your mind. When you believe you've gotten to 30 seconds, I want you, you to hold my head back. Yeah, you're going to close your eyes and tilt your head back. Uh, and you're going to estimate 30 seconds in your mind, okay? When you think you've gotten 30 seconds, I want you to open your eyes and I want you to tell me to stop, okay? Do you have any questions? Tilt my head back. Count. 30 seconds. Don't count. Just well, estimate, estimate 30, 30 seconds, seconds in your mind, yeah. okay? Alright. Any questions? Alright. Close your eyes. What? When it's done, what is it? You just open your eyes and tell me to stop. Alright. All right. Close your eyes. Switch your head back. You can begin. So, would you be want to go up to the main station to do some more field sobriety tests? It's literally on the other side of the mm, Is that necessary? I mean, you're already handcuffed, so I can't take you out here. But I do believe you, I am noticing multiple signs of impairment. The field sobriety tests, they are voluntary. You don't have to do them. But if, if you don't do them, I have to base my decision on all the observations I have up to this point. What does that mean? Like I said, I, I told you I noticed mental signs of impairment. I, I think you are impaired by cannabis and possibly alcohol as well, because I do there's I do smell alcohol coming out. Well I was with someone before I came. Okay. Before I come in, so. Did you spill alcohol in your car? No. Okay, why is it why is your floorboard all wet with alcohol? I see so I was just puking before I came in. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do some more fields or body exercises? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry? I said I can. Alright, oh, take a seat real quick, okay? Alright, right, stay back. Alright. I'm going to take you out of handcuffs to do these exercises. You're not going to do anything silly, right? 
Alright, turn around for me. Alright, we're gonna walk up to that orange line on the ground. I got a pocket knife on these big It's, I gotta do a cumulative thing. Alright? So, let's just get a few things straight. You see this line right here? Is it fairly straight? Okay, anything you see on it that you can trip on? No? Okay. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna demonstrate the exercise to you, and then you're gonna perform it, okay? Do not start the exercise until I say begin, okay? Why I'm Dem why I'm explaining it to you, I want you to put your left foot on the line. Put your left foot on the line, right foot in front of it. Just like this. Touch heel to toe. See how I'm touching heel to toe? Arms by your side. What I want you to do, I want you to stay in that position until I say begin, okay? When I say begin, and only when I say begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down this line. I'm going to demonstrate how I want you to do it. I'm only doing three, you're going to do nine, okay? It's going to look like this. One, two, three. When you get to your ninth step, I want you to keep your front foot planted. Take a series of small steps. Turn around. Take nine heel steps back. One, two, three. Okay, go ahead and get back in the position for me. There's a few things I want you to remember. I want you to keep your eyes on your feet. I want you to count out loud. If at any point you step off the line, get back on and continue where you left off. Don't start over, okay? Make sure you touch heel to toe each time. Turn as I instructed. Count out loud, and once you start the exercise, do not stop, okay? Do you have any questions? Nine steps. Nine there, nine back. Do you have any questions? Okay, you can begin. right there where you like. You're going to put your feet together just like mine, okay? Arms by your side. It's called the one leg stand. When I say begin and only when I say begin, you're going to lift one foot, your left or your right. It doesn't matter, okay? You're going to lift it six inches off the ground, point your toes, point your toes forward like you're stepping on a soda can, okay? You're going to count out loud. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and so on until I say stop, okay? If at any point during the exercise you put your foot down, I want you to pick it back up and continue where you left off, okay? I want you to keep your eyes on your foot that's lifted. How long does it count? You're going to 1 1,000 feet until I say stop. Okay? Do you have any questions? Foot six inches off the ground, arms by your side, eyes on your foot that's lifted. Yeah. Okay, are you comfortable in those shoes? Somewhere. You can take them off if you want, it's up to you. Okay. All right. Understand all the instructions? Yeah. All right, which foot are you going to lift? You can begin whenever you're ready. Keep your eyes on your foot that's lifted. All right, you can stop. All right, this is the last one, okay? I want you to take your hands out just like this. Put your feet by your side. What do you call these? Your index fingers? Okay, put them down by your side, okay? Notice the silly question, which one's your left? Okay, all right. 
What you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes and you're going to tilt your head back. Not yet, when I tell you to start. You're going to touch, take the tip of your finger, touch the tip of your nose, okay? I'm going to demonstrate how I want you to do it, okay? Call left, and touch the tip of your finger to the tip of your nose, touch your, and pull your hand right back down, okay? Don't wait for me to tell you. Go left, right, okay? You're going to close your eyes and you're going to tilt your head back, okay? Right. Do you have any questions? Left. Right, close your eyes, tilt your head back. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Okay. Relax. Dude, I think you're very on the edge of not being able to drive. Okay? No, I'm just very nervous. So okay. I have never been in this situation. There's no police at all. Okay. Open your mouth for me. Did you, did you eat any weed or anything like that? Mm. Pick your tongue up. How long ago did you smoke? It was a while ago, like, I left the house. Alright. So, would you prefer to go to jail or you want just a ticket? Uh, why, well, I could take a ticket, okay. but why would I be able like, why would, why would it be? Why because it the ticket that you're getting is you could go to jail for it. Um, you're being respectful, so I'm not going to take you to jail for it. Yes, sir. But you could go to jail for it. Okay, I, I know you're saying, but the way you two were driving, not cool. I don't know if you guys are just trying to show off to each other or what. Nah. I just, I okay. All right. Let's go sit in my car. I'm gonna take you back to your car. All right. So what? What would it be? So, what do you mean? Like you saying this? So the ticket that I I'm gonna right, get. All right. Say what? What? Like just say what? It's reckless Sorry. driving. Or racing, but racing is more serious. You've been playful, so I'm not going to give you that. Good. Right, can I come over there? This is right now. This is a it's a it's a criminal citation, but it's a, it's a ticket. Okay, you got you, You're going to have a court date. They'll tell you. It stays pretty simple as long as you show up to court. Once they issue your court date, make sure you show up because if you don't show up, then it becomes into something that doesn't need to be. You're worn out for your arrest, your license suspended, all that. You show up to court, you don't have a you don't have a bad record, you'll probably get a small fine and be on your way. But if you don't show up to court, it's just gonna be a bunch of unnecessary stuff, okay? Right here, I didn't see you sign here. You're not admitting to guilt by signing. What you're saying, you're saying when you get issued that court date, you understand that if you need to serve the court, and if you don't, that there's going to be a warrant issued for your arrest. All right, if any time your number or this address changes before you're issued a court date, make sure you call the number on the back of this ticket and let them know because that's how you're going to find out your court date. They're going to send it to you, okay? Your copies in here and all your belongings are in there, okay? Do you have any questions? Now that's all done and over with, who was trying to race who? I wasn't trying to race. I was just driving. Why were you guys driving so fast? They probably were driving fast. You both were driving was... fast. You both you both almost lost it on that corner coming around that corner. Alright. Have a good night. Alright.